Daniel, here. Eve, you're alive. Quickly, he'll be here soon. We have no time. We need to run. Eve, I don't know what you were trying to tell me before, but I will not retreat. I got all those souls, and for the first time, I feel I can really leave this nightmare. Catherine, I'd do anything for her. Nice to hear that. My souls. I'm afraid we have a problem. We're still missing one soul. What? 6,999 is still not seven legions. You want to argue about one stupid soul? Get it yourself! Don't tempt me, mortal. No time. Take her, and we're even. What? She's not... 7,000 souls for Catherine. That was the deal. I won't do it. No way, motherfucker, you Daniel, can- Daniel, do it. Eve, you don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing to lose. I've been here since the beginning of time, condemned to eternal loneliness. I don't want to stay like this anymore. If, thanks to my soul, you can get to your beloved, then take it. Eve, do it. This is not my way to Kate. Enough of this melodrama. No! You motherfucker! Ha! Idiot. You can't do anything to me. No! Stop him! God! 7,000 souls for my railgun. <laughs> Merely a flesh wound. Oh. But I like the part where... Like it is. All we have is this? That's why I'm complaining. Okay, I'm, I'm getting killed. I'm running away now. Playing for like the, for the entire cutscene, he's like just teleporting it like back and forth. I think he doesn't give a fuck. I think it's mine now. Okay, you'd have it back. That's mine again. And then we shoot out of his hand, and he's like, No! I can't get it back now. Good. Help me with him. Sorry, I'm too busy stacking my health to 50. Yeah, fuck you, Ken. <laughs> I hate you. I'm getting ammo, jeez. You didn't say calm your tits. And now I'm That's not a thing I often say. Okay. Okay, now my health is stacked. I wish he would stand still. He's too hard to hit, but he's moving. Yeah. It's almost like he's a moving target. This guy, I swear. Also, wait, did, did you did you take your soul? This makes no sense. You're always you're always playing with me. It's like first you get swallowed by the swamp monster. Hey, wait, he, keep, he keeps getting health back. Oh, whenever whenever he, we have to grab the souls before he does. Or not kill the enemies. <laughs> wait, do we kill him while I get the souls? Wait, so I got a theory, Mike. What? What if we're meant to, like, uh... What if we're meant to try and go to demon form? Uh, yeah, that's my guess. Actually, yeah, we have to we have to grab all the souls before he does. I would be I'd be all for that actually. And then we damage him a bit to get some more crap. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, let's do this. Make sure you grab you grab them before he does. I'm just holding on right mouse so that I instantly suck them up. You know oh, how it goes. Oh, oh wait, I um I uh I accidentally pressed both. 
I made one fight on my side. Yeah, because when it's going, to, when it's flowing towards him, that's all you have to do. Um, no, 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 no. All right, let's try this now. I want, my, I want mine getting some more health, so I'm gonna go get some armor and health. I'm actually doing pretty well for health right now. Well, I'm not. It's not all about you, Kent. It's my let's play too. I'm out of saws. Uh, there's plenty lying around, though. Yeah, I know, I saw. And also, you can just technically use the alt fire just to kill stuff. It'll just take a really long time. Well, that's what I have been doing, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Welcome to part 17. We're still on this boss. Don't cross the streams, Mike. No. Alright, I think I'm done farming. Fucking for... death, leave me alone. Asshole. <laughs> Fucking death is an asshole. He's just chasing me. It's like, oh, sorry, you want to get ammo? <laughs> Fuck you. That's that's the that's the that's the motto of the, the this entire LP. <laughs> Guys, death is an asshole. <laughs> kind of a dick. Not gonna lie. Mm, souls. We're at Death, 36. Get away from my fucking guys. We're at 36 now. We're so at 39. 39. Okay, we're almost there. Just, I just need like one more health thing. I'm looking around. There's it. There it is. All right, let me go grab that one. I cannot kill death except with the, a, a built-in game mechanic. Oh oh oh! oh I love juggling guys with the right mouse button. Like, you can kind of, like, switch between them quickly and, like, just unlock them a little bit. I think he just Hadoukened you. Did he? Oh. Yeah. That's pretty badass. You know, he's down to half health, anyways. Maybe it's possible to kill him just like this. Yeah, but I want to go demon mode anyway. It just seems like a thing to do. Something we would want to do. Where you go? Hey, one of the card unlucky things is to kill him. Yeah, I know. Fuck. One of the things went back to him. That's fine. Fuck over here. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at up death's dress apparently, or robe, remember? <laughs> Oh, fancy you! <laughs> and death blushes. Ooh, don't look there. That's my special place. Ho, ho, ho. He is. He is. He is really difficult to kill. Right, we're really good for souls. Oh, almost there. Oh, what? Oh, what? You can shoot in that mode, like when it's flashing. Oh, cool! Really? Kill him. Kill him, Mister B. He's spinning right round, baby, right round. How do I get the idea that this is not working? I'm killing the mobs too, so that way I'm thinking like... Oh wow, he's almost dead. Why do I get the feeling this isn't working? My face when it's working. <laughs> it did feel like it was working. Give me a soul, Death. Give me a soul. Mm. Oh, more mobs spawned. Why is he not dead yet? Probably because he scripted like not die until we kill these minions. I'll, I'll keep running after him just in case. I think all we have to do is like get more souls than he does, so he has less health. And then once we kill them all, he's vulnerable for a bit. There we go.
Well then. Well. Is there another cutscene here, or is this the credits? I wish I was her. I killed them. I killed all of them. Now let me die for once or leave me alone. You can't kill death. You just sent him back. He has seven legions of souls now, and he will set free his brothers to bring apocalypse to Earth. War, pestilence, famine, death... Judgment Day? We can stop this, but it's the real world, and you don't have any demonic powers at hand here. Four bad guys instead of one. No powers. My body is a mess. Seems like you picked the wrong man to do the job this That's time. That's why you're just a sidekick now. A sidekick? And a beat dagger. Time to show them their true pain and suffering of hell. Karen, I am not your sidekick. You're hey. my sidekick. Popularity vote. Well, I liked it. How about you? It was shit. Okay. No, I had fun. It was a good game. Yeah, it actually it had somewhat of a story around it, but it wasn't like in your face story, so I liked that. You know what, I, I feel like the need to compare this uh, level design here to, you know, Call of Duty. <laughs> really? And? Well, while it is arena based and, you know, scripted to, you know, you finish killing things in arena in advance, each arena is, like, pretty big. You can explore, you know, multiple paths. So, uh, yeah, I, I yeah. I really like the Coliseum, that was, that was a lot of fun. That was my favorite part. Uh, also, the, the theme park was really good, too. Both my favorite. Alright, alright, alright. Well, let's, let's compare this to some other games that, like, are about arena kind of tournament shooters. Like Serious Sam, free. Well, I think Serious Sam, uh, Serious Sam is better because you can have more players than that, and that's more designed around the co op. This one clearly is not. So, I'm, I'm gonna ding it for that, though. Well, I will say, like, a serious time for you had better net coding, I'd say. Like, when, when we were playing that, I didn't have this whole, like, oh shit, I can't really do anything. Yeah, yeah it's not like, It's not a fantastic game. It has flaws. There's no doubt about that. But I think despite the flaws, it is still a good game. Yeah, uh, you know what, and... I don't know, uh... Most of the weapons I liked, I didn't have one that really, really appealed to me. Which was kind of, I guess, a problem. And so, some of them had a little bit of overlap. That was my other problem. Like uh, there was that that five that five stake run, whatever stake that uh, stake, the octo or whatever. Well, some of these things like have been added in since. Like, original painkiller didn't have the octo thing. The uh, didn't have the flamethrower. Didn't have the saw gun. I don't know. I, I don't. I didn't, wasn't crazy about those either. Um, as I said, but it was still. I think it was still a really fun experience. And if you like the multiplayer, uh, the multiplayer I expect is is what this game is mostly based based around. Uh, you know, when when you when you talk about Quake, Quake has a has a single player too, or like the, and potentially even co op mods. But fundamentally, it's it's all about that. And you know, I think it would have been fantastic if they had actually worked on the uh, the uh, net net play a bit more and maybe some co op uh, goodness a bit more. But you know, it, it was I think it was good enough to be an enjoyable experience. Uh, that's my final. That's my final thoughts on it. So, yeah, pick it I up at a Steam sale. If you're looking to pick it up, like maybe like you want to play co-op. If you play with someone who's far away, expect one of you to get kind of screwed in terms of uh, pain. Like think, it really isn't great right now. I think it's the best idea to actually play this at like LAN. It's a LAN game. That's yeah, LAN, LAN would be better. No, it's definitely a LAN game. So, as I said, if it's cheap, uh, pick it up. 
and if you do a lot of land parties, you can have this as one of your land games. Lots of fun. West comes to West, you play it single play, you got a really nice, you know, smooth, fucking visceral, you know, arena shooter, it's nice. And there's collectibles, there's secrets to get, so you, you can't really go wrong, you, you, won't, you won't come out of this with like a bad taste or like, or like, oh shit, you know, this is slow and I'm never gonna play this again, you know, like, it's, it's, it's fun, it's good. That's all I can say. Although I will say, if you're looking for a story, I wouldn't come here. I don't know, you know what, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, honestly, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't totally predictable the entire time, I guess. It wasn't really a story, though, it was kind of like a corny, just like, some cutscenes and had some dialogue to be like, well, that was a bit wacky. Catherine? Someone named Catherine. Where's my wife? Pretty much, yeah. But you know, the thing is, it it wasn't meant to be about the story, and I think I think you can't you can't say anything about it because it's just like it wasn't the someone it was meant to be. They didn't well, they yeah, didn't try like, think, they didn't try hard on that though. Yeah, but I, well, I think they tried to like a certain degree to make it seem like the story is there as like a loosely bit like oh this happens okay. It's like how can we get this main character to do like whatever whatever. Well, like, I, even in the first game, the story was like here's a cutscene explaining this. Now go kill shit. You know, it's the same way that Duke Nukem 3D has a story, you know? It's just... It's 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 kind of there to connect the pieces and explain some shit. But it's not there for you to actually like actually get like really involved into. The, what you're supposed to get involved into is the gameplay. Let's just, let's just agree on that. Oh yeah. But I will say, like, to some degree, though, that, like... Duke Nukem 3D did, did have some, like, continuity between levels. Like, you know... Uh, for example, there's that one level where you hijack the sub, and the next level you're in the sub again. It's like, to that degree, they just they, they link things together. Then like you went one to the moon. In, yeah, then you go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> totally plausible. No, but, um... Yeah, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it was good. And it was like, it was like nice, short, and sweet. I, I don't really recall how much this, this goes for. Uh, I think it was like twenty dollars, was it, or was I wrong? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm actually sort of curious now. Uh, I can't, I can't go into Steam and look because fucking recording and mumble overlay. This recording software doesn't like to do three things at once. Um, yeah, I don't know. And uh, yeah, definitely that that five stake launcher was my favorite weapon. I don't know. What, did did you like that? I think yours was your, your favorite was a shuriken gun. What was it? Oh, I, did, I liked all the guns better. Really. If I had to pick a favorite, you had to, you it would had to be. Have a favorite. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite, it would still be the painkiller. Just because I just, I don't know what it is. It's it's a gun that's infinite ammo. Just chopping things up. Chopping things up. The the bright hand, like the alternate fire being kind of like you know, just sort of messing things up real quick. And then the spinning blade. I loved it. How does this compare to the other painkiller games? Well, this is kind of an oddity. It's like it's not. Some of this content is new, I think, but a lot of it is, like, old levels, kind of remade. Yeah. So, like, a lot of the complaints across the series have been, like, some of the level designs have been, like, just kind of crap. I'm not sure which, like, uh, I haven't, I haven't played many of the crap ones. But this one's actually, I, I enjoyed this. I thought the level design was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Oh, this is the Unreal Engine. Huh. I had no idea. I would not have yeah. guessed because usually the Unreal Engine suffers from a lot of input delay and other crap. It's not bad. Oh, as someone who's never really played much of the Painkiller games, I liked it. <laughs> Lots of demons were harmed badly during the production of Painkiller Hell and Damnation. It's sad that people can fly will no longer make these games. And they're just kind of dead. Killed by, killed by Epic. Mm. I will say that like this this game is really just like a remake though. It's like a, it's it's just a bunch of the maps from various games thrown together. So it's like HD painkiller. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to like you know breathe some life into painkiller because that usually people don't like the HD remakes of things. So just look at Quake Four and whatever. But I don't know. It was still good. Let's look at the statistics. Everyone likes numbers. Shots fired. So my hit ratio is 46%, give ratio is 93%, so I was giving a lot. Give ratio 99%, get on my level. 
Apparently I've collected zero secrets. <laughs> That's Same. Kind of how, how many kills did you get? Kills or soul? Uh, kills, 903. Ah, I got 1,675. I beat you. Well, I'm sorry, but someone has a better connection than me. But <laughs> if someone has host advantage, jeez. <laughs> host advantage? Oh, man. Alright, well, guys, uh, I collected 801 souls. How much did you get? Uh, 707. What? I beat you in that, too? Well, yeah, because you, you be hot more effectively than me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the excuse, huh? Hey, Mikey, what, what we do host a sub real quick? You could you could feel my pain? Actually, you know what? Why, why don't we do that? Oh, actually, I oh. can't, because I can't join on you. Never mind. Uh, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed our uh, painkiller LP, and uh, uh, we'll see you guys for whatever we do next. Bye. Bye-bye.